Today's Blue Origin launch, of course, fulfilled a dream 60 years in the making. 82-year-old Wally Funk, now officially the oldest U.S. astronaut to ever reach space. But she faced a lot of adversity before getting there. Let's take a look at her story. For six decades, 82-year-old Wally Funk has been waiting for this. Five, four, command engine start. Two, one. Wally Funk making history today as the oldest person in space and realizing her dream of becoming an astronaut. Oh, I love it. The thrill and excitement of blasting off into space on Jeff Bezos's first space crewed flight, Blue Origin. I loved every minute of it. I just wish it had been longer. Wally Funk's journey into space is a long time coming. She was once denied the opportunity to pursue her dream of becoming an astronaut because she was a woman. I didn't think that I would ever get to go up. But the Amazon founder making it up to Funk, surprising her with the news in a video he shared on Instagram. We open the hatch and you step outside. What's the first thing you say? I want to say, honey, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> in 1961, already a professional aviation instructor, Funk became the youngest member of the Mercury 13, the first group of women to be put through rigorous astronaut training as part of a women in space program designed to determine if women were as capable of handling space travel as men. Well, I had a lot of training in those weeks before, or in 1960, not only in America, but I went to Russia and I trained with the cosmonauts. And not until oh, about uh, two or three weeks after my training did I was told that I did better than the men. You By still the way, can. still doing better than the men. <laughs> oh, no. She, she can outrun all of us. She's 82 years old and she can outrun all of us. Despite finishing their training, Funk at the top of her class, none of the women would ever fly. The program was later canceled. But Funk continued blazing trails for women in flight, becoming the first female air safety investigator for the NTSB and the first female inspector for the FAA. Her love for the skies never waned. Over the years, she logged nearly 20,000 miles, flying hours, and taught more than 3,000 people how to fly. That dream always in the forefront. To get to go and do those things, it's everything for Wally, but it's it's really so much for all of us and all of us who have dreams who persist. Da -da -da! Wally! How are you? Oh, honey, I couldn't be better. I'm going to be in that window. Now the woman who was told she couldn't be an astronaut because, quote, you're a girl, you couldn't do that, finally fulfilling a lifelong dream. We had a great time. I want to go again fast. <laughs> Can't get enough of Wally Funk. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.